Maryland, so I will be putting up a green vote. Gentleman from Southern Maryland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Freedom to Read Act. This looks like a bill that we should all support, right? Everyone loves freedom. Why, why wouldn't any, everyone support this bill? But then you have to ask yourself, well, the First Amendment has been around for 236 years. So why do we need this bill today? And the truth is we need this bill today. This bill is being pushed on us because one county in the state, their Board of Education, we're not talking about for grown-ups, for adults, we're talking about the Board of Education in Carroll County, probably the best Board of Education in the state, had the nerve to challenge the status quo of sexually explicit materials in the library. They set up a whole process for book reviews. And guess what? They banned some. I guess the, the real word which should be restricted because they didn't take it away from adults and they made it age appropriate, which is overwhelmingly what our constituents want. Age appropriate material in front of our students. Now, there was a long-term delegate that served from uh, Carroll County. I had the pleasure of serving with her for years. And she used to always ask this question when a bill came up. What problem are you trying to solve? Well, the problem that you're trying to solve with this bill is putting sexual explicit material back in front of our children. In front of our children. Why would we want to do that? We are the adults in the room. Now, I really want to thank the good lady from Baltimore County, and the other one from Hartford County, that read that, that material on the floor. Because what I saw yesterday was a bunch of people from the ruling party running over because they didn't necessarily believe it. But that is what's going on in our schools. That is what's in front of your kids. And it's not right. It's time to let kids be kids and for us to be an adult in the room and actually start acting with some transparency because this bill shouldn't be named the Freedom to Read Act. As one of the opposition testimonies said, it should be the Freedom for Kids to Read Porn Act. That's a more descriptive language for the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Majority Leader. Uh, thank you, Mr.